Okay. Let's see. You getting any power? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All our injectors in. My air flow is hooked up. Let's see. What about that? Get my hand down there behind that exhaust manifold. Make sure that sensor's plugged up. Yeah, I know we ain't tightened nothing down yet. It's just uh, prime the system a few times. What's this big ground wire go to? Oh, yep, yeah, that's power for the alternator. All right, hold on. Let me see if it got fuel pressure. Oh, yeah, she's got fuel pressure. All right, prime it up again. And uh, don't touch the gas. Oh, no, there's no belt on it. Never mind. I was sitting there thinking it was going to. What's that? What's that for? Cooling temperature sensor because it's in the head. Oh, so yeah. It'll run without it. Well, well it won't run good. Yeah, but it's going to We got to figure out where the hell it goes first. Uh, I told we'll find it. So. Oh, yeah, that's great, Dave. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Um, I got to get some hose for this thing, too. Right, well, we're all primed up. Okay, you want to see what happens? Fire off, David. All right, David. Almost. Yeah. Give it some gas. I don't think it's got enough gas in it. Oh, no. Let me see if I got hmm. it. Yeah, I got enough probably to get some. Let's get the whole okay. gas that's got a hole in it. Let's see. Let me plug. My plugged up. I got a screwdriver. I can hose. Sensors out of position. Uh, let's try it again. Oh, almost. Yeah. Almost. Just it will run. Right. It will run. I, I, I really think this thing's <laughs> leaking where it bolts up right there. Yeah. But I seen a little bit of a gap. So I got to get. We got to get it to run so it's spray start fluid or something. Could, Give another the try. AGR pop could be pulling on it tight. Yeah. You know. All right, David. <laughs> oh my god. You can feel that in your chest when you revved it up. In the floor. God. I guess I got the first car And think about once we get all the vacuum and put air filter on here and yeah. get a belt. Get it dialed in and, and everything. Trace fluid in next. Yeah, so okay. Get about it and burn the damn transmission up. I'll put some money up in oh. savings in case I have to go to jail. Right, <laughs> damn. <laughs> You can stand behind it while you're revving it and just feel it in your chest. It's a whole car. It felt. Oh my god. Now, you sat there and pushed the clutch pedal and see what you yeah, think. Yeah, you feel the clutch. Oh, I ain't the clutch yet. It's got a hell of a clutch pedal. Man, she's dirty, but she's mean. Holy shit. Start back up for Randy real quick. Sounds pretty good. See if you can get it to idle so you can hear it low. Damn. Oh, God. 
God. You know, the Martin used to say, damn, Dana. <laughs> Got a little bit of pedal on it. That feels all right, about normal. Awesome. I guess that's what happens when you Frankenstein a truck 4.6, a Grand Marquis 4.6, a Crown Victoria 4.6, and a Mustang 4.6. And a whole bunch of new fancy parts. I think we're working for about 30 minutes. We're going home. Dang. Oh. Dang, man. Plus, I don't have all my tools. At least it ran. Oh, yes, that's, it did. That's, that's good. Okay. I was getting nervous there, sorting out some of that Let's wiring. See. Get this cleaned out. We're getting the boat good on you. All right. Well, guys, there you saw it here first. It runs. It's a runner. It's a liver, not a pancreas or an appendix, but it's a liver. So we will. That's all for this one. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. And the GT Mustang, she is alive. Should be alive. <laughs> Anybody know what to do with that boulder sitting here? <laughs>